Well, I know I'm a little late to the party on this one, but today we're going to take a quick look at Judas and the Black Messiah, directed and co-written by Shaka King. This is based on the true story of Fred Hampton, played by Daniel Kaluuya, a civil rights activist and the leader of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, and Bill O'Neill, played by Lakeith Stanfield, who was arrested for car theft and impersonating a federal agent, but had his charges dropped in exchange for working as an FBI informant. This is a story I knew a little bit about going in, admittedly probably not as much as I should, and it seems Hollywood has been trying to teach us a lot lately, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Of course, their main goal is always entertainment, but if they can educate us at the same time, why not? And going into this movie, I think really the only other time I had ever seen the Black Panthers portrayed on film was probably Forrest Gump, and suffice to say, this movie's portrayal of the Panthers is just a little bit different, just, just a bit, just a bit. Forrest Gump certainly did not show the Panthers feeding poor children breakfast, which is a thing they actually did. Like most biopics, I'm guessing this movie is probably not 100% accurate. In fact, I actually know it's not. The real Bill O'Neill did an interview with PBS for the documentary series Eyes on the Prize many years after Hampton's death, and the movie makes it out to seem like he committed suicide right after that interview aired on television, but if you look up the dates, they don't match up. O'Neill died in January of 1990, most likely by suicide, and his episode of Eyes on the Prize didn't air until, like, a month after the fact, so yeah, that doesn't work. But it does at least seem to me that King was trying to stay true to the overall story and to who Fred Hampton was. There is a famous quote from Hampton that we see pretty early on in the movie, we're not going to fight racism with racism, but we're going to fight it with solidarity. We're not going to fight capitalism with black capitalism, we're going to fight it with socialism. It's a quote that often pops up whenever people are talking about civil rights, but they tend to leave out the second half of it. Hmm, I wonder why that is. But the movie includes the entire quote, as it should. O'Neill's story starts off in this movie with his arrest and his subsequent recruitment by FBI agent Roy Mitchell, played by Jesse Plemons, and we see how Mitchell really took O'Neill under his wing and became almost a father figure to him, and ultimately convinced him to join the Panthers and report on their activities. And there's a very telling moment in one of their early conversations where Mitchell is trying to convince O'Neill that the Panthers are bad news. He says, I am all for civil rights, but... He may not have actually dragged out that butt, that's probably just how it sounded in my head. And then on the Fred Hampton side of the story, we see his arrest on possibly bogus robbery charges, his release from prison, his subsequent appeal, which was denied, which meant he would have gone back to prison if he was not assassinated. At the age of 21, no less. I mean, goddamn. And it is amazing just how charismatic this guy was and how great a speaker he was. I mean, one of the first things he does in this movie is walks into a meeting with a bunch of rednecks, complete with a Confederate flag hanging on the wall, and he actually recruits them to his cause. I mean, wow. And based on the bits of archival footage of the real Fred Hampton and Bill O'Neill that are included in this movie, I would have to say Kaluuya and Stanfield nailed it. Kaluuya especially. I mean, every time that guy is seen giving a speech to the Panthers or the Rainbow Coalition, he is Fred Hampton. I mean, just dead on. And again, you can see why people paid attention when this guy spoke. And Stanfield, I thought, really captured O'Neill's inner conflict. He starts out just doing a job for the FBI, thinking, hey, I'm serving my country, great. But as he starts to rise through the ranks of the Panthers and really starts to believe that what they're doing is actually good, you can see he is clearly having second thoughts. And he was really good in those little moments of nervousness where it looked like he might be close to getting found out or was worrying about what could happen if he was found out. And I should also take a moment to talk about Martin Sheen, who plays FBI director J. Edgar Hoover and... Oh, God, I hated that asshole, which was the idea. I mean, just got such a slimy bastard. There's a really well done scene between Hoover and Roy Mitchell where it starts out very amiable. Hoover's like, so how you been? How's the wife? How's the kids? How old's your daughter now? Wow, <laughs> they grow up so fast, don't they? And it seems nice and friendly on the surface, but you can tell just underneath, it's just a matter of time before things take a turn for the worse. And sure enough, Hoover asks him, 
And what are you going to do when your daughter brings a black boy home? Ho! Oh, fuck you. But what I found interesting about that scene, and I don't know if this conversation actually took place or if this was just artistic license by King, but the way he phrased that question, it wasn't if your daughter brings a black boy home, it was when. Like he assumed it was a foregone conclusion. Almost seemed to me like a tacit admission that they thought they were fighting a losing battle, and I don't know if that's how they actually felt, but I did find that interesting. Overall, excellent performances from Kaluuya and Stanfield. Would not be surprised if they got some Oscar nominations out of this. Certainly not the movie to watch if you're in the mood for something with a happy ending, cause, well, you know. But it is very well made. I'd argue it's a very important movie, especially in these times, and if you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. And that's what I got to say about Judas and the Black Messiah. Till next time, take care.